What's up, YouTube? All right, today we found this guy that's like level uh, something, 184. So we got a whole bunch of shit together to drop, including some scrolls, some XP scrolls, all sorts of fun stuff, and uh, we're gonna try and get him to like level 210, and also drop a whole bunch of shit. And so that way, at 210, maybe I can do another video in V2, and he can use up all the red honors that I give him to build another set you know i'm not going to drop 21 pouches worth because obviously if i drop everything i have ready to drop it's going to fill up his inventory so we'll just make like a a trip back to town and then i'll drop like two or three hundred more red honors but all right let's go he doesn't know any of this yet he just knows that i might be dropping some and i already dropped some red honors and i'm going to give him some xp scrolls so maybe he'll think that that's it let's drop one. Oh, it doesn't let me there i'll do that I'll drop two at first and then six more. All right. So first, we are going to go to Colosseum. And we're going to have to walk around this whole wall and we're going to fight some orcs and get them to level 190 or 185 or whatever so we can do the gargoyles. First, we're going to drop that. And just kind of like lead them on. And then we will just drop five three K HP scrolls. We're like, what the fuck? Those are a lot. Let's drop six more XP scrolls. Just like, wait a minute, these are getting a lot more expensive. Let's drop some drop scrolls. What? <laughs> Let's drop some VT scroll. A few Seth cloth. Now we're gonna drop a bunch of stuff today. Nothing crazy expensive, like I know, like I could be dropping plus eights and plus nines and shit, but I mean, what the fuck is fun is that? You know, this guy's freaking out over this. And you know, he likes it. He's, he's gonna get a lot of kick out of it. He's gonna level up his shit. It's gonna be a lot easier for him now. Drop this on the ground. Let's drop some of these on the ground. Let's drop one TC on the ground. Let's drop some of those on the ground. Alright, now we're just gonna go over here. Let's drop our uh, mana barrier on. Not that we need it here. Nothing does any damage to me. Sometimes I take potions here and I don't even need to. I don't know why. Let's drop a few more. Oh shit, where'd it go? There he is. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, there's red otters on the ground. Let me get him. There's a Seth choice. Is he going to pick up the Seth choice? That wasn't even my drop. You might take it. Is he going to take it? There we go. <laughs> Here's a TC. Oh, you can't drop TC? Oh, that sucks. Here's some Seth Cloth then. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's probably freaking out because he wasn't expecting this much. Alright, I need a mushroom. There's a mushroom. Alright, we gotta go this way. This way to freedom, fellas. Let's drop some gemstone. That's like 30,000 right there. Yep, yeah. look at that, look at that, ugh, has to pick that up, that's like 12 million right there, that's crazy, great, great dog, look at this, you're gonna die now, look at all this shit, you don't wanna live, not when there's someone like me going around, no one wants to live like that, it's worse than any zombie apocalypse I ever heard, getting ass kicked by a dude named Jessica, that's fucked up, that's real fucked up. All right, we're gonna go all the way around. Look at all that. We just went all the way that far just so we can walk the fuck back because it's the other side of the goddamn wall. Oh, this bugs me. There's some more resources. So that's cray cray. You don't know what I mean. <laughs> this is cool. All right, we're gonna go this way to the orcs. Let's just grab these guys on the way. He's like, I have to stay behind him. I never know when something's gonna drop. Is that his? No. Is that his drop? No. Is that his drop? No. <laughs> He's like, man, you gave me so much. I know. 
I thought it was fighting myself. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, what? That didn't work. There it goes. What? <laughs> I'll give me a second to loot that shit. There we go. Alright. Are these purple? Or is it the other ones that are purple? Alright, good. So these are purple. We can just gather up all these guys here then. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a boss here. Let's kill this bastard real quick. Almost done. Almost. Almost. I feel like I should drop something to freak him out. A caravan brace. Who wants that bullshit? Well, he could always upgrade it. <laughs> There's some more stuff. Really, I'm just clearing my my storage. I could have made like probably 50 million from what I'm giving them, but or more. But whatever. It's not too big a deal. I'm gonna drop this on the ground now. <laughs> He's like, "What the hell? More keeps dropping." Yep. Yes, it does. We're at 186 already, so we're already getting there, man. Almost there. Once we get up to 190, I think it's 190. It could be 188, but I think we're going to do 190 just to be safe. Uh, we can go to the Gargoyles, and then it's going to be like really good XP for a little bit. And then we can go to the Megas. I'm going to hit a drop scroll now. Just so we start getting decent loot. So now that I'm going to slow down on dropping stuff since his inventory is pretty full. Maybe he can select and choose all the set of choice that drop. We're just going to keep on grabbing all of these. If you're lower level you can still do this. Uh, you just got to do it slower and a little safer obviously uh, with all these ranged mobs are kind of a bitch when you're low level and not able to take the hits but uh, if you go through it and just grab all the melee mobs and just run just keep going jump for every skill like jump hit jump hit that way it doesn't take away the animation doesn't stop your character much if any especially with archers you can just like jump hit then see the next one then jump hit and then you literally never stop so that being said the archers are still chasing you so they're not hitting you and then you can just as soon as you feel like you're able to stop you kill off all the melee mobs the the ones with swords and shit by casting your aoe and just keep walking or you just keep casting your aoe and walking just like i am here and anything follow you will following you will just continually walk through the that cannon fodder just like all of these, when all the snipers catch up, they're all going to come up to that one spot where all the fireballs are meeting. I should tell him I put a drop scroll on if he wants to go through loot. I used a drop scroll, so up to 300% drop rate if you want to loot. Oops, empty. There we go. All right. Orb stack and trade for choice All right.
Let's keep grabbing more. I don't know exactly where. We might have to go back and redo the whole spawn again. Because he is 187. We just need three more levels. Alright, so we should be getting close to 188 here. <laughs> I think his inventory is full. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, since I'm getting the kill, the loot is red right away. So we can't even loot it until we go back by it. Unless we stop. So we'll have to try and gather them all up, and then... Alright, let's see what we got here. Huh. It's interesting. Is that always there? Or is that a red mage sitting there farming? I feel like that's always there. But I don't think I've ever actually been in here. Oh, that's interesting. This is cool. This is this is all new, I guess, because it's, you know, it's a new addition to turf battles, but still, hey, this is really cool. I like it. It's like it was all started by this one giant mage, and he has this giant orb around him, like a red mage. That's kind of cool. Almost looks like a raid boss. Oh, and he got a good amount of XP from that, too. Good. That's awesome. I like that. That was cool. I should save this spot. I like this spot. Red Eye Orc Village right under the V. All right. And you guys remember that too, right under the V. Everybody likes to be under the V. <laughs> giggity, 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 oh god! Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this place is like, you know? This is actually a pretty decent spot to farm. Um, let me see if the spawn rate's good. We'll, uh, we'll gather up what we got here. And we'll see what it does. Because this actually seems to be a pretty cool spot. Good XP here. I'm not sure. I have to ask him. All right. We might head back out to the other orcs. But that was cool. That was a nice little boss kill. Now that the spawn's all dead. That was fun. Let's go kill some more. Alright, let's drop that shit on the ground. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want those. I don't care about those right now. You can have that too. And that. And that. <laughs> Loot. Let's drop these two. And that. And those. 
I really don't need any of that. And that. And that. And that. Alright. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can go to this cliff of despair. I don't know what color these are. These might be uh, blue to him. Oh, they're yellow, so we still get XP on the way over to him. Good. Alright, so we're going to head this way. I'm actually curious if, he, if the gargoyles are purple yet. He's only one. Oh, he's 189 now. Damn. So he might actually get to 190 before we get there. That works. That would be awesome. Let him loot a little bit. Alright, so the nice thing about this next spot, uh, the gargoyles, uh, no armor, no weapons drop, so you can literally just keep looting and looting. You can sit in the same spot for like two hours, four hours, six hours, until you physically fill up on orbs uh, and I guess six five jewelry, because you can use all the Seth's and Seth choice on jewelry, and if you use it properly, you'll make more off the shards than you will off the Seth and Seth Choice. Like, Seth Choice, if you only use it on one stat, or, on one stat at a time, and you bring a stat up to seven, and then you sell it at a seven, and Seth, Choi or Seth Gems you only use on one stat jewelry. And uh, as long as you follow that, you'll make a lot of money by, spent by using all of your Seth and Seth Choice Gems. You'll see. Well, if you watch my other videos, you'll see. He's actually going to be looting everything on this. Gotta let him know where we're headed. Huh. Wonder what color these are. These might actually level him. I'm not sure. Either way, let's just cast the fireballs behind us and make sure everything dies. There's probably a shit ton of loot behind me. <laughs> let's just gather it all and bring it all right here. Oh, I guess he's not looting right this second. He might be just waiting for me to get to my spot. Oh, wait, maybe he's not. There he is. So he is looting. Okay, good. Oh, and he's a 190. Sweet. That works. Exactly where he wanted to go before we got to Gargoyles. Perfect. Let's just pull with this skill here. That way we're not uh, killing them all at once. And you can head over to my green dot. There we go. Alright. He's behind us. We're just going to gather and keep on trucking. We're going to go right over to Cliff of Despair. We could leave and come back, but this is just the faster, easier way to do it. Is just walk over there. Like, realistically, the fastest way, I guess, would be to just hit the X right there. Relog in, go to Cliff of Despair, and walk there. Uh, that would have got us there in seconds. But, nah. <laughs> I don't feel like rebuffing and all that shit, so fuck all that. 
Alright, let's kill all them right here. And kill all those up there. And kill that one. And then we'll kill those two up there. There we go. Old Ved. Let's just show him the, this loot over here. Just make sure he knows where it is. And if you pick up all the orbs, all of these orbs, they translate into uh, uh, Seth Choice bags. Um, you trade them in for the green orbs, and the green orbs get traded in for the uh, Seth Choice bags. 15 green orbs, one Seth Choice bag. So it's always, always, always worth picking up those orbs. You can make 300 to 600 million Lenny an hour farming where we're about to go. The gargoyles. And people say, oh, that's bullshit. No, it's completely true. Watch my video. <laughs> and that's just, that is not even a rare trip. That's the average normal trip to go out there. It's anywhere between 300 and 600 million Lenny per hour in loot made while you're out there. You go out there with nothing, and you come back with 600 million in loot in two hours. Sometimes way more. I've made two. I made 1.5 billion in two hours, but that was a really lucky trip. Made a couple sevens and a couple six fives. But again, 300 mil is not too much to ask. <laughs> All right, I hope this guy's still following. <laughs> Where would he be? I kind of run pretty quick, so maybe... Oh, yeah, he's right there. Sweet. I think he's using a run speed scroll, or maybe he's just fast himself. I don't know. i got to clear all these guys because they're starting to gain up, and I don't want him to get shot all of a sudden by 15 ranged mobs. All right, all killed. Now we can go over to Cliff, which we're almost there. All right, this one we're just gonna pull. We're not even gonna touch the character, uh, uh, the creatures. The less we have to do, the fa the more we have to do, the slower we are. So as long as we can literally just walk through everything, we're good. With these, I might actually hit them just to make sure that they don't hit him. We're not at the gargoyles yet. We th I thought it was closer than we were. Almost. He's like, wizards are red. <laughs> we're not doing them. We're just getting through them. Oh shit. That was close. I ran out of potions. I'm like, haven't been taking a potion that whole time. Alright. Here we are. Here we are again on our own. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again on our own. Let's go. All right, we're going to grab all of these. Everything you see, just grab, just walk right through it. You really don't need to try, pull, stop, anything. Just go straight. This whole patch of land right here inside the road, you'll see that path that goes all the way around. If you pretend like that path goes all the way into the water, that whole area spawns dark gargoyles and tamed red uh, bear cats. And both of them are insanely good for XP at level 190 as well as one of the best places to farm for Lenny or TC or whatever if you want sustainable income that doesn't involve any luck. Now luck makes it better, but you can make 300 mil an hour if everything breaks. Alright, this looks like a good point to stop. Let's watch his levels. 191. Uh, 
Uh, I was hoping he'd get to 193 on that one pull. Probably should have grabbed it more. Stay here and loot. Alright, I'm going to tell him to stay there and loot, and I'm just going to go grab some more. Let's put that speed buff on, so at least we're a little quicker at this. Alright, let's grab these, just so it doesn't get in his way. I was going to go up that whole thing and grab those first, but there is quite a bit here. Not done yet. Alright. Let's grab these. This so we get the most bang for our money. We're going to grab all of these all the way up here. Thank you. And then we're going to head right back for him. As soon as we see him, we'll start slaughtering this on top of him. And the nice thing is, is if you're power leveling somebody, you I haven't actually done any damage to this, so I haven't wasted any of its XP. All of that is still at full experience. Not a single point of damage is done. Now, I did just shoot one, but that's not going to do any difference. <laughs> but, uh, right here. Right about the time he should, uh, be done looting and sorting his loot, I can just start dropping AoEs and gather the next pack. Alright. <laughs> He's like, Jesus Christ! You're using XP scroll, right? Alright, just make a trade using the XP scroll. I'm going to go all the way around this time. we got to wait for a little bit of a spawn. But if we grab some of these up here, we can just grab a bunch of those uh, wizards and stuff. Now, I think they're yeah, orange to him. Maybe, maybe not. That way we can do like a super grab. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for some good creatures, like just like some stupid sick pack that brings them up like two levels. 193. That's it. Let's try and see if we can get a 195 in one pull. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the humanly fuck? I'm vaping on a uh, peanut butter cheesecake with nicotine. That tastes way better than a cigarette. Tell you what. All right, we're going to stop here. We're going to turn all the way around. And then we're going to hug the beach all the way down until we get to the normal spawn point of the gargoyles. And then we're just going to zigzag our way through and around him. Just so we can pull the rest of this. The fishermen are melee. Uh, same with the gargoyles, everything. The really only bad thing I'm targeting right now is this wizard. Just because I don't want to have him killed at the same point, it really doesn't help any in the pull. So I might just continue to shoot the wizard while we run around. And as you can see, with uh, if you're ever trailing, uh, training a mob, like you're training as in this is a train, is what we're doing. You're creating what looks like a train. Uh, you can always, if you get the sword symbol on a creature... As long as you don't touch your mouse or move it in any way, the sword symbol won't move away. I use a trackball mouse, so uh, I don't. I just don't touch the ball, and the sword is the same. So I'm still targeting that creature I targeted a sec a minute ago, and I'm shooting just that target. You could do the same thing with players, and I've actually attacked large packs of creatures or a boss while kiting. Uh, that's another term for training. Uh, is kiting like a, if you're holding a kite and it follows in front of you the same idea is this I'm kiting this group of mobs so I'm that this group of mobs right here mobs being creatures uh, is acting as a kite for me and this is the, the act of the, the the word kiting literally means to kite mobs and attack so I would just cast an attack if I could be level 180 and I could still kill this many mobs at once just by doing this 
because nothing's actually hitting me at all. I didn't take one single hit out of every single one of those creatures. Just because all I was doing was kiting it. I was keeping them behind me and moving at a rate a little faster than them while dropping AoEs. But as long as I'm dropping the area of effect skills like Meteor or uh, Blade Fury or any of the other classes, uh, as long as you're dropping them while jumping, like jump click, jump click, jump click, jump click, you're almost not affecting your run speed at all, but you're still casting skills. So theoretically, I could just and take on an entire pack of mobs without even trying. Like that guy, he just spawned and died. If you weren't here for loot, you could just theoretically jump, walk from side to side, back and forth in one giant circle, continually doing this, and you would just watch your XP slowly go, or not even slowly, pretty steadily go up and level and level and level, and even at level 180, you could just circle and do that over and over again. Or 188 or whatever it is for these guys to turn purple and then eventually you'll be 220 <laughs> uh, now admittedly the way I'm doing it is much faster I can gather large packs and then kill them all at once and all he has to do is loot so he's just giant amount of XP loot giant amount of XP giant amount of loot giant amount of XP giant amount of loot so but you don't always have someone to help you out When we go back to town, we'll drop a bunch of red honors for him to upgrade his gear set. And then later on, we're going to invite him over to a, a V2 run so he can craft a couple tri armors using the red honors I'm dropping. But we'll have to do that a little later today if he's still online. If not, then uh, we'll have to do it another day for him. Otherwise, I'm probably still going to do some V2 farming, just not with him. But one thing about V2 farming is every once in a while, I like to go there for just weapons. And if I go there for just weapons, I can ha I'm can i literally looting hundreds and hundreds of grade 11 armors that I'm not doing anything with. So a lot of times I like to invite like a, a new player along that's uh, able to take the hits. And they would literally just pick up armors and go to their storage and go back and forth. Or they would have a shit ton of red honors and try to make plus 7 and plus 8 armors while they're out there. It's like going around town except all the armor and weapons that everyone's selling is free. <laughs> this is a big pack of mobs. I was expecting it to get laggy at this point, but no, we're still good. I think we're going to grab a little bit more here. It's got to be laggy for him, though. Never know. <laughs> this has got to be a pretty decent pack of mobs. He's at 194 right now. Let's see if we can get to 195 and a half, maybe 196. Ah, uh, well, still, we probably got quite a bit. <laughs> Started off at like what, 183? Already up to 195, plus he probably got a shit ton of loot. I don't know what's in, in his inventory, but I can hear things dropping constantly, so he doesn't have the space to carry these rings or anything. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure he's pretty full right now. We probably have to go back to town. I'm going to offer him to go back to town, storage, and come back. <laughs> I might help him loot this real quick. Press shift as fast as you can and press left click pointing at loot. You loot like three times. Right. 
All right, so we're gonna go back to town real quick. All right, first we're gonna grab this pack since they're starting to respawn. No reason to waste this XP. Let's get that movement speed scroll back, uh, movement speed buff back on. We're just gonna go one big circle, and then it's gonna end up right next to the. We're gonna end up going towards the crystal and going to the warehouse and back. All right. Yeah, I figured everything was going to be respawning because as soon as I started seeing them respawn around me, I'm like, okay, we're going to have the entire spawn now. They might as well grab it. Might as well. And even if you were level 180, again, you can do exactly what I'm doing right now. Because uh, right now I'm not being hit. These guys are a little slow. So as soon as you want to start killing them, you just fire your AoE and jump at the same time. And keep doing that. And keep doing that. And keep doing that until you look behind you and there's nothing behind you. And you don't take a single point of damage. There's no... There's there's no not even a reason for you to get your, your gear up first. Alright, this is starting to lag. Now, of course, you can't do what I'm doing right now and stop and kill them. That'll kill you instantly. But, this is more for someone who's way out leveled the area. Let's loot this pack since he's not going to be able to. Alright, well, we're going to head right over to the crystal. I'm going to drop that stuff that I just looted as soon as we get to uh, the warehouse and he drops off his stuff so he has like that starter loot. <laughs> Plus I might drop a bunch of red honors too. Just be like, oh I just cleared this shit man. <laughs> nope. Alright, buy luck supply unit. Follow me! Where did he go? I guess he doesn't realize that... Well, maybe he's just going to the warehouse and coming back. Alright, that works. And meanwhile, I'll look at these. We might actually cut this video and start off in a little bit. In just a few minutes. So I will see you next time for episode 2.